Hello everyone and welcome back to this week's video. We're going to talk about the next point about the Passover topic. So as we saw from the previous weeks, we looked about the Lord's Memorial and how it should be remembered. Then we moved on to the the first covenant from last week's video, which was the Passover. And we saw about how in Exodus 12th chapter, it was told by God how to celebrate the Passover. And we saw how the reasons each of the commandments God had given to the Israelites had to be followed like a statement. And each individual commandment is if only followed, they were going to be saved from the death angel. As, and we, as we saw, because the God's commandment that was followed by the Israelites, the death angel had passed over the doors of um, the Israelites' houses, giving the name Passover, of course, for the blood was on their doorsteps, as we know. After this incident, we see that the Pharaoh's child had died from the tenth plague, and in this depressed state, we understand that the Pharaoh had let them go from Egypt. So, in their travels after Egypt, we see, according to the divine arrangement, Israelites followed God's commandment and observed this Passover celebration accordingly. So we're going to read another instant when the Passover takes place in Deuteronomy 16th chapter. We're going to see another instant when the Passover takes place okay, in the promised land we see. So let's read that right now. Deuteronomy 16th chapter. We're going to read the first eight verses. So let's read them right now. So it says, observe the month of Aviv and celebrate the Passover of the Lord your God, because in the month of Aviv, he brought you out of Egypt by night. So what is the month of Aviv here? We'll answer that question soon. Sacrifice at the Passover to the Lord your God, an animal from your flock or herd, at the place the Lord will choose as dwelling for, for his name. Do not eat it with bread made with yeast, of course, but for seven days eat unleavened bread, the bread of affliction, because you left Egypt in haste, it says, so that all the days of your life you may remember this time of your departure from Egypt. So this is another time when they're doing the Passover against them. Let no yeast be found in your possession, in all your land, for seven days. Do not let any of the meat you sacrifice on the evening of the first day remain until morning. You must not sacrifice the Passover in any town the Lord your God gives you. Ex except in the place he will choose as a dwelling place for his name. Sorry. There you will, you must sacrifice the Passover in the evening when the sun goes down on the anniversary of your departure from Egypt. So the anniversary of the time they, they had done this in Egypt as well. Roast it and eat it at the place the Lord or your God will choose. That in the, in the morning return to your tents for six days, eat unleavened bread and on the seventh day hold an assembly to the Lord your God and do no work. So, the Passover here was celebrated in the wilderness, we understand, in Deuteronomy, clearly. As we confirm that this month, the first month, like we said, is actually Nisan, was the first month, we understand, for Israelites, where God, that we understand, had changed their practice, which they had earlier and had Aviv, and Nisan are the same thing, we need to understand, because in Nisan is a modern name of Aviv, which was changed, we understand, after the capture of the Babylon, after Israelites had were captured by Babylon, use it was used to call as be called as Aviv the first month. But we understand after this in Nisa it was changed once they were captured by Babylon. So that is a clear point clarified when God specifies that the month in Aviv it will take place the Passover. We have to understand Aviv and Nisan are the same thing, but Nisan is a more modern name as it was came came after they were captured from Babylon, came from once they were captured by Babylon. So, we can also read another verse, though, which we can read in Joshua, fifth chapter, to clarify, our, clarify we should say, our understanding about the Passover even more. As we've now understood that it specified that in this Deuteronomy 16 chapter, that Nisan is the month that the, Bible, the Passover is taking place, we're going to read another verse as well. So let's read Joshua 5th chapter now. So we're going to read Joshua 
fifth chapter we're going to read, and we're going to see what it says about in the tenth verse. So let's read this now. So as it says, On the evening of the fourteenth day of the month, so on the fourteenth day of Minisan, as it specifies, while camped at Gilgal, on the plains of Jericho, the Israelites celebrated the Passover. So, not only in the wilderness and even in the promised land, we understand, they, they followed the festival of the Passover, including once they entered the promised land. The festival carried on as an anniversary from what they started at the, when it's captured in Egypt. So we understand that they followed the festival as mentioned in the above first, which is recorded in Joshua. Was the, this Joshua, we understand that the first Passover is the, in the promised land takes place in Deuteronomy 16th chapter. After they crossed the Jordan River, they celebrated in Gilgal, we understand, as mentioned in the verse. Because, yeah. So, that's all for today of our understanding. As we've now understood that from Deuteronomy 16th chapter, how, when it was actually mentioned that the month was Nisan, for it was always specified, even in the Exodus period, in Egypt as the first month. But only in Deuteronomy is mentioned at Aviv. And we've then understood that they take, they do this celebration once again, once they cross the Jordan River and they celebrate it in Gilgal. But we understand Aviv and Nisan are the same thing, but the name of Aviv was changed once they were captured by Babylon and it changed to Nisan. And as specified in Joshua 5th chapter, it was said they celebrated once they crossed the Jordan River in the Promised Land, of course, and in, they celebrated in Gilgal. We also saw about how once, once, they were cele once we understood that actually the Israelites in the situation we understood that it was also specified that it was the 14th day of Nisan in Joshua 5th chapter as well. So now we've understood more clarity about another incident, basically the anniversary of the, the Passover, if, of the first covenant that took place, the, the anniversary from the, the Passover that took place in Egypt. So we'll talk about more about the Passover in next week's video. So see you then. Bye.